Hi everyone and welcome back to RFD Hobby for another Wargaming Terrain tutorial. In this week's build I wanted to show you how to make ruined buildings. Now these are a pretty common build that you'll see on a lot of terrain channels these days, uh, but there are plenty of variations that you can do as hopefully you'll see in this video. So these are a great way to start terrain building if you're new to the process. A very simple build, uh, but very effective as well. So the first thing we're going to do is get our, our foam board. Uh, you don't need a piece of foam board this big, but you'll see uh, in this video that this one's one piece is more than enough to make this building. Uh, what we're going to do first is just cut out our base. Now I do want one of these corners to be at a right angle. This is just for the curb uh, that will run around the outside of my building. And I'm also just going to roughly cut out the two walls that I want to stand up here on this uh, on this base. So uh, now again, these cuts don't need to be precise in any way. So long as they fit on the base, uh, you should be fine. We'll do some measurements for the windows in just a moment. Now do keep in mind, however, the higher you make these walls, possibly the less stable your building is going to be. So they don't need to be as high as I've made them here. Uh, I have made one that you'll see in the uh, end of the video that, that was uh, a little bit shorter. It still allows you to have a couple of floors in there to put your units up on. Uh, but the higher you make it, the potentially more unstable this will be. So as we mark out this first set of windows here, uh, I'm just starting uh, measuring these up from the base of the wall and also measuring in from the corner of the building. So. Uh, the size of the windows doesn't matter too much. I'm using two and a half centimeters by three and a half centimeters, uh, and the first wall that I've measured in from was in two and a half centimeters. So when I come to measure the second wall, uh, I will want to allow for the thickness of the foam. So that's why you'll see here that one of them is about five millimeters uh, narrower uh, on that join. That just allows us when we do come to glue this together. Uh, that allows for the thickness of that foam so that both windows are then measured out equally from the corner. Now all I've done here is just using those first set of uh, windows from the bottom. I just measure up and keep them straight and at right angles uh, and I've marked them out there with a mechanical pencil. Now I'm going to cut out a quick door um, for the side of this wall here. Uh, for the rest of these here, it's just a matter of following those guidelines that I've put in with the mechanical pencil and running my craft knife through all those uh, lines that we've marked. Now you will need to go around, you don't want to overcut these, so you will need to just go, go around each edge of these. Uh, make sure those corners are cut out so that when we do come to pop them out, they pop out nice and easy like you can see there. So just continue on through there, um, pushing all these windows out. Make sure you keep those scraps because we will use them uh, very shortly for another part of this build. Uh, now, when it comes to gluing down your walls to your base, uh, for mine, like I said, I'm going to have a bit of a sidewalk running around the outside here. So I've just measured in four centimeters and I'm just going to put a little guide down there so that when I do come to glue these walls down, I know exactly where I need to put them and it's going to be straight and nice and right angled. Now while I'm marking this up, I'll just let you know if you are looking to support the channel, you can jump across to my Patreon page. I'll have a link to that in the description below. Now for my base, uh, around the back edge of the building here, I am going to bevel these edges. So I do want these to be um, sort of sit flush on the table and sort of ramp up rather than that front edge, which will be the curb. So I don't mind the step up at the front. Uh, but at the back I do want that beveled edge. Now when it comes to gluing these two together, make sure you are gluing the correct side, allowing for that uh, thickness of that foam uh, with those cuts in the windows that we did earlier. Uh, and make sure that you do stand it up. The hot glue there will dry really quickly, so make sure that you've got this all prepared before you go throwing your glue on it. Um, make sure you sort of put it all together, make sure it's gonna fit the way you expect it to. Uh, when it comes to gluing down onto the base, again, just use those guidelines that we drew in uh, and you should have no problems. Uh, again, this will stick down really quickly, so make sure you've got that um, all ready to go before you start throwing glue down. Now, as far as the floors um, that I'm going to put in here, uh, so the level one and level two floors, I'm just doing a couple of rough cuts here, making sure that I do have one perfect right angle there so that we can push these straight into the uh, building without having to worry too much about it um, distorting the right angle that we've got for the walls. Um, so you don't need these to be perfectly cut to the shape you want. You want a little bit extra uh, overhang uh, at the back because we will be making some um, tear outs on this stuff. So so long as it sort of fits in there fine uh, and, it, and it isn't too big, uh, you should be right to start gluing that in. So just measure where you want your floor to go. Again, just put a couple of guide marks on the wall. Uh, and then just add your glue and just 
insert this in, make sure you press it in so you've got good contact on all those walls uh, and that floor. And again, being hot glue this is going to dry really quickly and it's going to be tough to move it if you do put it in at the wrong angle so make sure you've got measurement or guide marks on your walls there for those to go in. Now as far as this part of the build goes, uh, this is going to be really quick so I'll speed this up for you guys. Uh, all we're going to do here is just start tearing away some of these walls to get that ruined look. So we're going to work our way all around the outside of the building here and I'm just using my fingers here to just take small chunks out. Uh, you don't want to take out big chunks because you can't really put them back on. Uh, so just work your way around if you find that it still needs to be taken back even further. Uh, just keep chipping away at it. Uh, you might end up tearing out a window or two as you can see I did there. Uh, but it's all fine. Uh, just get it back to the look that you want it to have. Uh, that ruined edge. Uh, just by peeling those out. Now you can save some of those scraps that we peel off there. You might use them for rubble or rocks a little bit later on in the build. Um, now here we're going to go back into using those uh, cutouts from the windows and we're just going to insert some window sills. So all I'm doing here is just cutting each one into about thirds. Uh, and because we've cut these out of these holes, uh, we don't need to measure them or anything like that. We can just insert them in there and they'll fit nicely for this part of the build. So just go through and cut a bunch of those off from those uh, window off cuts and you can start gluing these straight into the building, straight into those windows. Uh, we are going to damage those up in a second too, just so they match the rest of the building. Uh, but for now we just want to insert these as they are, nice square or nice little rectangles that we're going to place in there with the hot glue. Uh, make sure you put your hand around the back for placing these in just so to make sure that they are sitting flush at the back of the wall there. Uh, and then again, same as we did with the walls, we're just going to go in and tear a, little, a few little chunks out here and there uh, just to give these a bit more of a ruined look. Now as for the curb out the front, I'm just going to use my ballpoint pen here. Uh, I just found this was a lot smoother across the foam. It didn't seem to tear it like the mechanical pencil will. So uh, this will leave a nice little indent in the foam and gives that impression of having a sidewalk out the, out the front of this building. I didn't use measurements for these squares. I just uh, went down, eyeballed it from the uh, edge of each of those windows uh, and it turned out that that was fine. It looks pretty good. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just add some cracks and maybe some chips out of this concrete out the front. Uh, I have done this in previous videos, you would have seen that in my uh, gun emplacement or bunker bit video that I did recently, I'll put a link to that at the top. Uh, but it's very simple, just using the ballpoint pen again, just going around and adding in some of those cracks. Now the next part is just to add some flashing to the outside of this building. This is just going to give it a little bit more detail. Uh, this is really simple to do. I'm using some one millimeter balsa wood here. These strips I found at the craft store, they're relatively cheap uh, and really easy to work with. So all I'm going to do here is cut three strips. One of them is going to be two centimeters wide, one will be one centimeter wide and the final one here will be half a centimetre wide. Now all you need to do is just glue these strips on top of each other, so having the thickest one at the bottom and the thinnest one on the top, make sure that they're all positioned roughly in the centre of each strip as you glue it down, uh, and I'm just using PVA glue for this, this part of the process here. Um, being balsa wood it is rather flexible, so PVA glue does give you a little bit of working time to move these around if you put them down in the wrong place. So next thing we're going to do is just uh, place this up against our building, figure out where we want it to go and just put a mark uh, on the top of this where we want to cut or break it. So um, I'm just going to score this a bit with my uh, Stanley knife here before I break it off. Uh, now this will give it a nice even look across the top of the building so it's not overhanging. You could, because this is a separate material from the concrete walls, you could have this hanging a little bit higher or even uh, down a little bit lower. But uh, yeah, I've found that having this one particularly on the corner uh, measured exactly to, the, to where the um, broken wall is, it seems to look really good. So uh, when you're gluing these on, make sure you've got a nice amount of PVA glue on there. You could again use uh, hot glue, but I found it's, it's nice having a little bit of working time with this stuff uh, because it is a bit flexible and can bend. So make sure you've just got a nice amount of PVA glue on the back and you do spread that across all of that balsa wood before you glue it on. And the next little bit of detail I added on here was just some stirring sticks between those uh, columns. Um, this stuff is, uh, these I've used many times before, they're really cheap. Um, they're not quite popsicle sticks, these ones are stirring sticks so they're a little bit thinner. Uh, but they'll just add another uh, little detail to the outside of this building which will look really nice in the end. Uh, I really do find that those types of details will make the difference uh, for a lot of buildings, uh, so make sure you're um, you know, experimenting with all that sort of stuff. 
and you'll see at the end of the video these come together really well. So again I've got some of those leftover bits of window that we cut out and also some other scraps of foam here that I'm just going to use uh, and glue down as rubble on some of these floors. Uh, I've put some cracks into these just in the same way we did as on the, uh, on the sidewalk out the front there. And here I'm going to add some uh, hanging rubble from the floor, um, so from the first and second floor. So I've just got some of this wire which I think is, uh, I think it's florist wire. Uh, it's a uh, little plastic coated, very thin stuff, but uh, all you need to do is just push this into the side of your uh, bits of rubble. Um, put two or three in there, make sure you sort of push them in fairly well so that they don't just fall out. Uh, we will add some glue to these in, a, in just a little while, but for now uh, we'll be able to just push these in where we want them. Um, this is really handy because you will be able to just take these out and push them in if you find you've put it in the wrong place. Uh, but all you need to do here is the same up against the floor. Uh, we're just going to start pushing this in and insert those wires uh, into the edge of our foam board and have this hanging down a little bit. Now once you've got that in place, uh, like I said, if it's not quite right, you can certainly just take it out. You can bend the wires a little bit if you want it hanging more down uh, or more flat. And here you can certainly just start peeling away bits if you find it's uh, you've hung a slightly too large piece. So just go around your building here and making sure that you are... Um, you know, not overdoing this, you don't want too much, you still want this to be a bit playable so you don't want to have too much of this stuff hanging down uh, but it does add a nice little effect here for, for our uh, floors and for our ruined buildings so uh, now when it comes to these wires all I'm doing here is just getting some PVA glue on a card and I'm just using a stirring stick here just to put little drops where those wires are, this will just help kind of keep them in place uh, stop them from working loose uh, over time uh, this will take a little while to dry on here because it is rather large drips that we're using but uh, like I said this will help hold all that in place. Now finally for the last little details that we're adding on to this one um, I've got some of these rocks here, these little piles of rubble out the outside. I've just used the scrap foam you can see there. Uh, now you'll notice I've also used this off cut that came from the top of these um, columns that we made. Uh, I've also broken a couple of those off and glued them down onto the sidewalk out the front here so that's just showing that those have fallen off the building. I've also added cracks into the outside of the building and a few bullet holes and also cracks onto the floors. So these are concrete floors but uh, as you can see these have um, also got cracks and stuff in there. So the last thing we need to do now is add some paint to this. Now I'm not going to go through the painting of this, I have covered that. You can see that uh, paint, same, very similar paint job in the uh, guard tower and the concrete bunk you would have just seen in that shot there. Uh, and this is how they turned out. So these are work in progress. I've got some, uh, I've added a little bit of grass around the outside as well. Um, I've basically painted these a uh, few varying shades of grey and tried to keep those cracks nice and dark. Um, I've also painted up some rust lines down from the windows and also in the holes. So uh, thanks very much for watching guys. I really appreciate your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to hit subscribe and like if you've liked this video. I will have another one out very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good one.